A witness to the police shooting of an African-American teenager in Brooklyn, New York, is challenging the New York City Police Department's claim he was armed. 16-year-old Kamani Gray was walking down a street in the neighborhood of East Flatbush when two plainclothes officers followed him in an unmarked car. The officers got out to approach Gray and opened fire when they claimed they saw him reach for a gun in his waistband. But speaking to the New York Daily News, a Brooklyn woman who watched the shooting from her window said Gray never had a gun in his hand. Police say they recovered a gun next to Gray's body. On Wednesday night, supporters held a protest in Brooklyn for the second consecutive night to denounce Gray's killing. Community organizer Fatima Shakur was among the speakers to address the crowd. Kamadi Gray was only 16 years old. Parents should not bury their children. Police brutality is not decreasing, it's increasing. So I need to hear your powers and your voice. We don't gotta bash nobody's stores or nothing like that. We more better than that. But your voice is your weapon. Kamani Gray doesn't have no voice no more. We have to be his voice. Tuesday's protest was peaceful after several stores were vandalized following a rally the day before. New York City Council member and community activist Charles Barron said the killing of Kamani Gray has triggered anger over the marginalization of African Americans. People are angry and frustrated. We're living in poverty. We're living in unemployment. In the richest country in the history of the planet Earth, we have poverty that equals Egypt's poverty that caused the revolution. And then to have these police officers using deadly force to take the lives of our children, our youth out here, it's just unacceptable. So this is the least that the community could do is to respond and resist. We always got to resist. We always got to provide vehicles that allow for the ventilation of our anger. And we must resist until we can figure out a strategy for victory. Thanks so much for watching this report from Democracy Now!, your daily independent global news hour. We don't accept advertising or corporate funding, but rather rely on donations from viewers like you. Please make your contribution by visiting democracynow.org. We need your support today to keep bringing you this hard-hitting, in-depth reporting.